there, Nabees? Guess what? <laughs> She's on it again. <sighs> I decided to try and make one of these out of the plush yarn. I'm not entirely sure how I feel about it. I really like the velvet yarn. Now that I'm, I've worked with this, um, it turned out pretty good. Oh, um, but to be honest, I, I don't know. I really like the velvet yarn, but it's cute. Those are the eyes that I made. Um, this is a new, one of the new sets that I made. So, yeah, I don't know. I, I'm, I don't know. What do you guys think? Yeah, I don't know. I really like the, um, the velvet yarn. But I did do something a little different. Um, I actually, I, I puckered. I don't know what that's what you call it. I puckered in there so that it's it sunk in so it looks more realistic. Um, but yeah, I don't know. What do you think? What do you think? I don't know. I, I don't know. I, I mean, it's squishy. It's huggable. But yeah, I don't know. The, the velvet yarn just gives it such a a unique look to it so but I don't know he's cute I guess I just like the other one better so uh -huh. but anyway okay oh, excuse me Ooh, don't know why I'm tired I'm today was my my day off my second day off um yeah. Today didn't go as planned. We were supposed to do a whole bunch of yard work today and it didn't happen because it was raining and thundering and lightning and all that kind of stuff. And then I thought, oh, well, I'll make some more eyes. And I haven't done that. I got my new cutting tools for my Cricut so I could try and make velvet eyes, but I don't know. I'm just I'm not really motivated today. Um, so, um, yeah. <laughs> but uh, first thing this morning, <clears throat> I had to take George to the hospital, to emergency. And he, he has um, varicose veins in the back of his legs, except he's got the blown out kind, like the big thick kind. And he hasn't been telling me but his leg has been really bothering him. He told me a little while ago, and I got mad at him, and I told him, you better go get checked for blood clots. And we, I got into a major fight with him because he's like, I don't want to go to the hospital. Rah, rah, rah. And I was like, Scott died from a blood clot. Are you going to do that to me again? And he was just like, I'm not going to die. But... And I was just like, yeah, he said that too. And, um, you know, so I got very, very irate. And... So he didn't say anything to me about it. Um, and then today he said, uh, so when you go to the doctor, do you have to make an appointment? Or And I'm like, what's wrong? He says, well, my leg's really bugging me. And I've been noticing that he's been limping. And I, I, I just... I'm tired of fighting with him about it. So he's a big boy. He has to make his own decisions. So he finally, he said, <clears throat> he took me out for breakfast this morning. And that's how he told me. <laughs> um, and I said, you know, if you go to the doctor, you're going to be waiting forever to get some tests done. And you aren't going to be able to get in to see the person because they only do phone appointments and I said, you'd be better off going to the hospital and getting everything done there. And he says, but I don't want to spend all those hours. And I said, it's better than the alternative. Um, so we went, or I dropped him off. Because I knew if I went in there, 
I would have been going ballistic on the doctors. <clears throat> so I just kind of went, no, you can, you go there by yourself <laughs> uh, and let me know what's going on. So he actually, he got in fast and they, they, as soon as he said, you know, possible blood clot, he was in there fast. Um, and he got tested and everything came out clear. So it's the varicose vein. that's a problem. Thank God. Um, and so he's, they're uh, sending him to a specialist to see what they're going to do about it. Um, so it's nothing that's life threatening. It just really hurts. So, um, it's good news, bad news, you know? Uh, so yeah, he's just got to wait to get in to see, see the specialist. So that was my morning. I've been kind of stressed all day because of that. I was having flashbacks, uh, and I just, I can't, can't do that again. <laughs> no. Um, so anyway, so that's what I was doing while he was in the hospital and I was crocheting this. So, yeah. So now, um, oh, I was looking at the comments from my last video with the chenille yarn that I was showing you guys. And, um, was it Tracy from Loopy, um, uh, crochet, oh, good Lord, Tracy, I'm so sorry. I love Loopy's crochet. Ah, <laughs> my brain's not working. Anyway, um, she was saying that she made a baby blanket out of chenille and it wormed. So, uh, I don't know. Oh. Oh, wow. Um, yeah, so I don't know. I, maybe I won't do a sweater out of it. <laughs> I don't know. But anyway, I'm going to go and um, I don't know what I'm going to do. Am I going to make another octopus maybe? I should make a maple chicken because I, I sold a maple chicken. I don't know. I've got to do something because <laughs> I'm just... I can't sit around and do nothing. Okay, I'm going. I'll talk to you later. Bye. I almost forgot. I can't even remember where I saw it. Um, I will leave the pattern uh, down below or the video link down below. But I, maybe you've seen them. Maybe you haven't. You remember these? I'm an 80s girl, so yeah, I remember these. <laughs> They're slap bracelets. And then, yeah, oh, like that. Yeah. Uh, back in the 80s, slap bracelets were the thing. Um, of that, along with the jelly shoes. I wasn't a valley girl, so whatever. Anyway, um, I've been seeing on Instagram, I guess it is these slap bracelet crocheted slap bracelets uh and I thought hey I can do that so I bought a pack on Amazon it comes like this I can't remember how many you get in here you get quite a few uh maybe 25 30 slap bracelets um I'm not going to put the link for these down below because well maybe I will because the I, I have the Canadian link, not the U.S. link. So for the Canadians, I'll, I'll put the link down below for these. <clears throat> um, so the video that I had was for snakes. And I thought, those are cute. So the one that is on the video, I think she used um, the, the plush yarn, the velvet yarn. But the yarn that I used was too thick. So I was thinking about getting, I remember seeing, excuse me, plush yarn on Timu, I guess it was. <clears throat> and um, <clears throat> it was, it, it was really thin um, plush uh, velvet yarn. So I was thinking about maybe getting that and seeing if that would work, but I used home slim I think it was and yeah it's it's too thick so this is what it looks like okay 
So, but when you slap it, it's, it doesn't, it's not like tight, right? It's kind of loose and a kid, this will fall off a kid's arm, like big time. It falls off my arm, but it's like, it's cute, but this yarn is just not good for it. So I decided to try, um, I think it was dollar store yarn that I got from a long time ago. And this is what this one looks like. And that one works way better, like way better. So I was like, okay, well, regular yarn, I guess works. So, so I did that one. And then I did, this is, what is this? This is a yarn that I think that Jeanette from Miss Hootie Hootenin sent me quite a while ago. Is this the party yarn? I can't remember. Um, I think this is the party yarn. They don't, I don't think they make it anymore, but it's got sparkles in it. <clears throat> so I made that one and that one works good too. So yeah, isn't that cute? <laughs> so the other ones that they make it's they crochet around it and then they put like a bee on top or they have a cow head or something on top here. So I'm thinking about trying that and seeing how that works. So yeah, they're cute. <laughs> so I think I'm going to keep this one for myself. And then when I'm doing craft fairs, I'll just, I'll use this as the demo. Um, and yeah. But I think they're cute. So, yeah. So if you get a chance, try them out because they're fun. Um, but if I make any more with the um, cow head or whatever on top, I'll, I'll show them to you. But, yeah. So this is a, a new new thing that I'm, I'm trying out. So, yeah. That's it. Good afternoon, <laughs> yarn and bees. How are you today? Oh, so, did I show you my stingray? I think I, I made them last night. I don't even know if I showed them to you. Um, the slap bracelets just sold. I, I took them out of my bag and I was going to put prices on them. And a lady came in and she's like, I'll take those. I didn't even get a price on them. <laughs> Uh, another lady just came in and she bought two stingrays. Hang on. Let me show you. I think I've got one. I don't think I showed these to you because I just made them last night. <clears throat> this is the one I have left. It's like a little army stingray. <laughs> um, so the other one was a uh, blue and the, the one, the other one was, uh, like a multicolored kind of light, like light multicolored. So this guy is the one that's left. Um, whoa. But yeah, she came in and she bought them and she's like, are these naturally dyed? Uh, no. <laughs> she says, maybe I can convince her that it's naturally dyed. <laughs> and I'm like, well, considering it's acrylic, um, probably not. <laughs> but anyway, so she just bought those. I'm so happy. I'm, I'm really happy that people are loving my stuffies and my plushies um she really loved my mermaid it was very close very close to selling it but <laughs> so yeah so yeah these guys are cute and they are so easy to make um if i hadn't known that this stuff was going to go so quickly today i would have brought my stuff to make more but i really i really need to get this thing done so i'm working on that right now um, it's getting close. I mean, I decided I'm going to, oops, I decided that I'm going to put three quarter sleeves on it. Uh, where am I? So, yeah, it's a little bit further. It was up here before. So I'm getting close. And then I figure what I'm going to do is I'm going to, mm, mm you keep turning. <laughs> um, I'm going to put, uh, there we go. I'm going to put this ribbing, this kind of ribbing on it. 
and then yeah and then I'm gonna do the three-quarter sleeves <laughs> so yeah but it's getting there oh oh man I got a couple of orders that I have to do tonight hmm. I'm being a bad girl not sponsored which I was <laughs> um, so yeah I just need something snacky to keep me going because I'm telling you this thing is just it's a marathon it's a total freaking marathon <clears throat> um, I did send an email to uh, a message to the lady that has a custom order for the octopus or kraken <sighs> you guys are going to yell at me, I know. But um, I told her that I'm still waiting for the yarn to come in. <clears throat> but that I am guesstimating, or that I, it's it's an estimate, approximate, that it's going to be $120. <sighs> yeah. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to make the legs longer than in the pattern. Um, I'm honestly, I don't know how big this thing's going to end up being. If it's, if the yarn is very similar to the uh, velvet yarn or whatever that I've got. Um, okay. <laughs> Um, then it might not be much bigger than the ones that I've already done. <clears throat> I might have to double up the yarn. So we'll see how that goes. But I, I'm i selling these smaller ones for 45 Canadian. So, yeah. And just so you know, I'm going to have them on my Etsy soon. I just have to um, make a few more. <laughs> I think that one's going to be kind of a staple uh, one that I do for my craft fairs because I really am enjoying making them. Um, they're a little bit of work, but they're not as much work as I thought they were going to be. And they're not as daunting as I thought it was going to be. I thought each one of the suckers was going to be like have to be sewn on. <clears throat> but because it's all pretty much one piece on the legs, well, it's two pieces, but um the suckers are bobble stitches i'm like okay i can handle this so yeah so i think i'm gonna start doing batches and um then just putting them in like putting the batches in the box and then putting them together later or whatever and just making a whole bunch of them so yeah anyway all right oh it's getting busier out here so i better go talk to you later Good morning. <clears throat> Good morning, yarn bees. How are you today? Just leaving for work. Uh, uh, George is in Victoria doing his last um, Dragon Boat Festival of the year. So I brought my co-pilot with me. Right, Bailey? You gonna go in the back? Go in the back. There you go. <coughs> and there she is. <laughs> good morning. Say good morning. Um, so yeah, so she's with me today, even though it's a rainy day. Usually I don't take her to the shop on rainy days. God, I didn't even look to see if I have my mascara is all over the place. Did I? Okay, I don't think I have black eyes. Okay, good. <laughs> um Oh God, my tire or my brakes are squealing like crazy. And I, you know, I just can't. I just can't. Um, so anyway, I started working on a new pattern yesterday. Uh, it's gonna be a little dragon, but it's not like the dragon that I made before. Um, it's kind of like a pagan dragon, but it's, yeah, it's really cute. Anyway, um, I'm going to make it like a mystical dragon. And yeah, so I'm working on that. And 
I didn't bring it with me today because I, I need more brain power than I can do with that pattern. Like I don't have the brain power capacity today for that pattern. <laughs> I just, I just don't. Um, so today I, <laughs> funny enough, I, I sold those two stingrays. Did I tell you guys about that? I don't even know. I tell you, I, my brain. I made two, three stingrays. <clears throat> I think I showed them to you. Yes. Well, I showed you the one stingray, but because the other one sold, I didn't get a chance to show them to you because <clears throat> I just pulled them out of my bag and the lady took them. So I'm going to make some more stingrays. And then um, Jeanette from Miss Hootie Hooten, and she, she found a pattern for a hammerhead shark that she sent me or gifted to me and um, so I'm going to try that one today because that looks interesting that looks really cute so uh, so I'm going to try that wow somebody went to town over there freaking vandals there's all these signs over here that uh, they're like billboardy kind of signs that are that stand up somebody went and knocked them all down not cool anyway <clears throat> um wow squirrel total squirrel I'm right I'm not totally weirdest thing I had shit to do yesterday when I got home and I fell asleep I fell asleep at like nine o'clock on the couch about 20 after uh, nine, George wakes me up and says, I'm going to bed. Uh, are you sleeping out here? <laughs> I was like, oh man, I can't believe I fell asleep. Um, I had, I had an order for a couple of pickles. I had a couple of mug, I had some mug and tumbler orders I needed to do. Um, <laughs> I didn't get any of it done. So, uh, luckily the lady that buys my pickles, her name is Ursel. She's the one that I made the butterfly sweater for last year, last year, way back. Um, she, every time I make pickles, she buys them. She loves to gift them to people, uh, that are going through a hard time. So I'm, I'm constantly keeping her in supply of pickles, which is awesome. Um, but yeah, she, she really likes the new eyes that I made because I, the last couple of pickles that I did, I put my new eyes on and she loves them. So I brought like seven pairs of the eyes that I made. That's another thing. I got to sit down and start making more eyes. Oh, no time. And then this week I don't have Terry to watch the shop for me because her husband's going in for, uh, uh, hernia surgery on Tuesday so there's that and it just occurred to me oh my god we're we're about to come up on September and my surgeon should be calling me soon to book for me to have my surgery oh oh Um, so, and, oh my, <laughs> this guy has cherry blossom paint, cherry blossoms painted all over his car. <laughs> um, anyway, squirrel. <laughs> Jeez, is that what today's going to be like? Uh, um, yeah, so anyways, I'm, I'm going to have to schedule my days off because I'm not going to have, um, I'm not going to have backup. So I think I'm going to take Monday off. I'll work tomorrow and then I'll take Monday off and deal with the things I got to deal with. I can get Ursel's pickles done today. Oh, excuse me. First thing, as soon as I get to work, I can do that. And yeah. Um, the box of yarn has been shipped and it's on its way here for the uh, cracking. So excited. Um, so yeah, I have to get my coffee because I'm just obviously 
tired and not with it. So I'll be right back. Okay, so <laughs> usually at this Tim Hortons, they give um, Bailey a real treat, not a um, Timbit, because I don't do the Timbit thing. So um, she jumps on my lap and we go to the window and the guy goes to pass her the treat and she takes it but it breaks in half <laughs> so she's trying to jump over I didn't realize she still had some sad piece in her mouth and uh, so she's trying to jump over me and I'm going no 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 you've got your treat Get, wait here you gotta grab this and she's already got a part and I'm looking at her and she's chewing away and I'm like oh <laughs> so, so I grabbed the other piece from him and <laughs> she's just all happy <laughs> she just loves going and, and doing that don't ya don't ya yeah so uh, so that's her her special time in the morning my special time and her special time right you gonna go in the back yeah and so that makes her very happy right yeah oh oh <sighs> so hey yeah <laughs> you're gonna need a haircut again <clears throat> anyway um what was I talking about uh, pickles and stingrays. Yeah, so I've got to make the two pickles when I get to work. And then I've got to make some stingrays. Oh, excuse me. Stingrays don't take very long at all. Um, they're basically just two triangles with a tail. That's pretty much all they are. And then you've got to do a couple rows of single crochets for the head. And that's about, that's about it. So they don't take long at all. What the heck was that? <laughs> Oh my God. Anyway. <laughs> Irish coming out there or what? Um, yeah, so that, that's my plan. That is my plan is to do two pickles, two stingrays, and a couple hammer hammerhead sharks, depending on how difficult the hammerheads are. <clears throat> they shouldn't be too bad. So we'll see, uh, see how how we do with that and uh, that should be my day so but yeah so I'll talk to you in a bit so what was that about not doing custom orders anymore yeah I got commissioned <laughs> again to make a T-Rex. Right. <sighs> so I bought a pattern. <laughs> Luckily, this order is for Angela, who owns the dog food place two doors down, the one that's closing up her shop. Today's her last day there. Um, so yeah, she wanted me to do up a T-Rex for her guy. And I'm going, well, I'm in the process of doing pickles right now for, for a cell. And <clears throat> I haven't got the yarn yet for the octopus. So, okay, why not? Um, I have the green yarn at home. I've got this yarn. Oops, this is the thicker, the thicker chenille. Um, so I think I'll do it in this. Because uh, this stuff, this velvet yarn is not thick enough. So, yeah. So there's that. Also, I got a message. I sent a message to, I think I, I don't know if I told you guys this. I sent a message to the lady about the Octo. Yeah, I think I did tell you. And um, I told her that it was going to be $120 approximately. For the octo they were good with that um, I sent them a picture of the octos that I did and they absolutely love it so yeah <clears throat> I'm like yay okay well cool uh, I've never charged that much for a stuffy before in my life they're okay with it I'm okay with it <laughs> so yeah <clears throat> um, Anyway, so yeah, I'm uh, 
I gotta get these done. Oh, this is the pattern for the oops, for the hammerhead sharks that I'm gonna be working on today. Aren't they cute? Um, this pattern is oh hi. Good morning. You guys, I'm telling you, I don't know what is wrong with me. I had a customer here, I went to turn, I dropped I, I knocked my drink and spilled my drink all over the place. I'm having a bit of a hard time and I don't know why. Today I'm really out of sorts. Like really out of sorts. Um, I can't, I'm not focused. I'm all over the place. I feel like I'm surrounded, you know, like I, it's weird. It's the weirdest feeling. I just feel like blocked in and yeah, I don't know what's happening. <clears throat> You know, I was just talking to my customer about it and I says, you know, I'm just having a bit of a day. Sorry. You know, and she says, it's probably the weather, you know, because we went from really warm, sunny weather to it's cold and everybody's wearing jackets and stuff. And I think my, um, my system hasn't had a chance to catch up to it. So, yeah. Anyway, what was I talking? Oh. So this pattern is called Hamilton the Great Hammerhead Shark and it's by Palms and Posies. So I'll um I'll see if I can can get the uh, pattern and or the link for the pattern and I'll put it down below. <sighs> um Oh, the pickle pattern. <clears throat> for those of you that are new, I have a tutorial for these pickles. Um, these are the new set of eyes that I made. See? Wow, they look really kind of cool on camera. <laughs> and then here's the other ones. This is the one I'm going to put on the second pickle. So, so yeah. Oh, sorry. <laughs> so yeah, that's the new new eyes that I've done. I did another pair, and I think it's going to look better on the 30 mil, millimeter eyes, but I have tiny little uh, maple leaves, you know, because I'm Canadian. And I put those on, but you can't really see the maple leaves. It just looks like red and orange blobs. But um, I think when I get the 30 millimeter eyes, they might show up a bit better. <clears throat> so... Yeah. Um, yeah, don't know. I'm just going to keep working on these. And it took me four. T I, I know this pattern like the back of my hand for these pickles because I wrote the pattern. Do you think I could get it right? Uh -uh. Four or five times I had to frog this thing. But everybody reads my t-shirts and laughs. They have a great old time. It's like, yeah, it's great. I come in and buy it. Anyway, okay, I'm going to go and uh, get these pickles done. Hi. So, I'm so excited. Okay. I don't know how to explain this to you guys because I, you know, um, you don't know. <laughs> okay. You know how I was just telling you how I'm scattered and I'm, you know, all over the place. I can't focus. And, um, I've had this weird feeling all day. Well, I've been thinking for a while now. I wish that there was somewhere for me to go that had like-minded people, spiritual people, um, that I can, I can connect with because of me being an empath. You know, I feel like I'm just out there and you know, I, I'm not, I don't know. I just feel disconnected. I just had a customer come in to pick up her order. I had a t-shirt order for her. She had contacted me and um, said that she was going to be coming in. And I was like, okay. And she told me that she, uh, she just came from her spiritual church and blah, blah, blah. And we started talking and I went, you're what? Wait, what? She was explaining to me that she goes to a gathering 
um, that is of spiritual like-minded people. There's one in Duncan, there's one in Nanaimo, there's one in Shimanus. Um, and they, they meet and they discuss spiritual stuff, not religious stuff, spiritual stuff. They're earthbound kind of people. And I looked at her and went, oh, you've got to be kidding me. She's like, what? I says, well, I handed it up. Um, I says, I'm an empath. And she goes, oh, really? And I says, yeah. So, oh, I have a customer. Hang on. Okay, where was I? <laughs> um, right. So, anyways, um, she was telling me that there is this group that gets together. Um, and I'm, I'm actually pretty excited about this. Because it's like I told her, I says, I'm trying to find my people, right? Like, I mean, I've got you guys. Um, but, you know, I need somebody local that is of the same belief as me. And someone that I can bounce things off of. Um, like when I'm having a, a rough time spiritually or, um, you know, emotionally and I'm needing some guidance. Uh, so I think this is going to be good. She seems to really like these people. Uh, so I thought, well, okay, I'll try it out. Um, I'll have to guard myself really well just in case. <clears throat> but um, yeah, but it's really funny because last night I was watching Amanda from Tap Mama and the Big Brigade and she was talking about um, she was talking about you know, um, to, oh, what was she saying? To, you know, when, when you're having a hard time and you say something like, God help me, you know, or you you look for guidance and she says, you know, we all talk to God. We all talk to, to him, whether it's in, um, whatever religion you're in, you know, whether it's Buddha or whatever. Um, and that, she said, you know, don't forget to uh, say thank you as well. Um, and, you know, I don't normally listen to um, that kind of stuff, right? Because I'm not religious. Uh, so I don't, I kind of glaze over that kind of thing. But for some reason last night I was, I was listening to it and it, something about it struck me. So obviously I needed to hear something. <clears throat> and then today, you know, coming into work, I was thinking, geez, I really wish I could, you know, find my people that way. And then she walked in my door. And the funny thing is, is she said that, she says, I don't know why I'm telling you all this stuff. I don't normally talk about my spirituality and all that. And I says, well, I says, let me tell you. <laughs> and I, I explained it to her and she says, Oh, I says, yeah. So spirit listened. Um, spirit knew what I needed and had you come in. So she was like, isn't that weird how that happens? And I said, well, not really. I says, I, I asked for guidance and there you were. So <clears throat> I think it's pretty cool. <laughs> so, but anyway, um, yeah, so I'm, I'm, I'm pumped about that. You know, I'm hoping that this is going to be a good thing for me. Uh, I think I'm hoping it's going to ground me and calm my senses down because with, with me closing the shop and doing the complete transition, I am really scattered. I, I have, I've lost my footing. Um, so I'm sure that some of you are going to say I lost my footing the day I opened up my shop. <laughs> so, um, but yeah. So there's that. I'm still working on these lady pickles, man. I'm almost finished the second one. I'm halfway through the second one. I've got this one. I gotta put a mouth on it though. <clears throat> so anyway. Yeah, so I just thought I'd tell you that. <laughs> I don't know why I'm telling you that, but I'm telling you that. Okay. I'll talk to you in a while. <laughs>